What's up, guys? My presentation today is on the Maillard reaction. So, the Maillard reaction is a reaction occurring between an amino acid and a reducing sugar. This requires a lot of heat to occur and normally occurs above 285 degrees Fahrenheit. The results of the reaction are a brown nitrogenous polymers as well as melanoidins and flavor compounds. The first person to describe the Maillard reaction was Louis Camille Maillard, who was a French chemist. He stumbled upon this occurrence while trying to recreate biological protein synthesis with sugar and amino acids. Some of his other works included the study of the metabolism of urea and the studying various kidney illnesses. Okay, amino acids are the basic building blocks of protein molecules. They consist of a central carbon bonded to an amine group, which is NH2, an acidic carboxyl group, which is COOH, a hydrogen, and an organic R group. The R group is what makes each amino acid unique, and it's just an unspecified compound. The picture displays the basic structure of an amino acid. The Maillard reaction occurs in three stages, all occurring very rapidly. The first stage is when the sugar and amino acid take part in a substitution reaction centered at the nitrogen of the amino group. This forms an N-substitute glycosylamine in water. Stage 2 of the reaction is when this newly formed glycosylamine goes through an Amadori rearrangement. This process involves the changing of an aldamine into its retrospective ketoamine. Amines and ketoamines are just an amino acid bonded to an aldose or ketose sugar. The last step of the Maillard reaction is when the ketoamines polymerize into melanoidins and flavor compounds. The melanoidins are the result of the reaction seen physically through their brown look. The flavor compounds are various molecules that form which are responsible for the taste and the aroma of the reaction. In the picture are various flavor compounds and what their properties are. So, where can you find the Maillard reaction? There are many foods that you eat every day that contain compounds resultant of the Maillard reaction. Some examples include brown meats and roasted vegetables, the outer layer of baked goods like breads and cookies, roasted coffee beans, and the nice golden brown color that french fries get when they are cooked. These are just a few examples of the Maillard reaction, and they can be found in almost every food that you eat every day.